Justin, how satisfying we did that to come down here and beat Melbourne at MCG? Yeah, I, it's a great result. And, uh, yeah, I probably didn't reach any great spectacle in terms of free-flying ball movement, but I was just really proud of the way we scrapped, um, contest to contest, and um, won a different style of game to what we've been confronted with the last couple of weeks. So I thought it was a really mature performance where we just hung in there and, like I said, scrapped and made the most of our opportunities. Yeah, satisfying, was it, to... Melbourne came at you pretty hard in that last quarter. Different game to the correspondent game last year, but you're able to understand their pressure. Yeah, I thought, you know, they got right on top at stoppage and started getting some momentum. But I just thought we fought. And, um, you know, when we play our best footy, we fight for everything. And, yeah, you know, we've, we've been pretty good at closing out games when opposition have come, come at us. And uh, yeah, I thought we showed some really yeah, good maturity to, to fight the game out. How impressive was Luke Jackson considering he had a pretty emotional time against his former club? Yeah, he, he was super. Uh, he uh, you know, obviously played a different sort of role when Sean went off and played a little bit more ruck time, but I just thought he competed, followed up, uh, and he's, 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 um, for his size, he's just a great ground level player. And uh, he, yeah, the goal he kicked in the third quarter was, was massive for us. and. He had some big moments throughout the, the game, and uh, you know our, our players have really embraced Luke coming to the club and love him, and we all do. And he's just going to improve as a footballer. But yeah, I, yeah, I thought he, he had some really big moments today. It looked like in the first quarter you had him running for Petrarca for a fair bit of it. We've seen more of that if, if Darcy had been there. Uh, we didn't have a direct matchup for Petrarca, but. We, we, we want to get Luke some opportunities to play as an inside mid. He's a, good, he's a really good ground level player. He's a good pressure player. Uh, he intercepts a, the footy around the contest with his wing step, wingspan and his want to win the ball back. So he, he offers us a lot um, through that area and that would have just been a byproduct of that. Four in a row now. Is it uh, too early to start talking or dreaming about the effort? Well, we, don't, we don't really get carried away with that. I mean, you guys might have said we weren't going to make the finals or, you know, our season was gone, but we, we never focus on that area. So, you know, we're trying to focus on getting our preparation and our mindset right week in, week out. Then, you know, we've, we've worked really hard to get ourselves back into the season, but that's all we've done. We haven't, we haven't achieved anything yet. What's, what's changed in your eyes over the last month? Uh, mindset. Yeah, we're planning to win. We're not. We're not planning not to lose. We're planning to win. So, um, yeah, which is you know, a lot of different things, and it's a pretty broad topic. But we've just embraced the, the chaos of the game and under, understood that the next moment is your most important moment, and we're treating every every contest and every moment on its merits, and we're not getting caught up in outcomes and stuff we can't control. What's your latest from Darcy? What's the earliest assessment? Ah, uh, he's, he's done his hammy. So um, we'll get, get him home, get it scanned, and give you a time frame. What did you make of the, the, the makeshift up from, well, I guess, obviously Jackson had to step up against his old team, and then Josh Tracy as well had to do some would, pinch Yeah, Jacko could be a number one ruck in his own right. Uh, we've needed him down forward, and we've, needed him, we've used him through the middle of the ground as well as second ruck. But, yeah, he's a genuine first ruck. Uh, so, yeah, I thought he stepped in well, and... We at Peel, we've been try when JT was back there, we tried to get him some minutes um, yeah, as a ruck. So he competes really well with his um, body, and I thought, I thought he gave us a really good contest in there. Uh, from afar, it doesn't seem like Jackson gets phased by all that much. How did he handle the week going against his school? <clears throat> uh, really well. And sometimes you wonder whether bringing things up with him is actually the first he's heard of it, because <laughs> um, you know, he, yeah, he does he does handle things really well. He doesn't read a lot of press. He doesn't, yeah, he lives in the moment um, and takes every moment on its merits. So yeah, you have to ask him internally, but he prepared for the things that Melbourne could have done to him today, or gone after him, or the crowd booing. He prepared for all that and had a plan in place if it happened and. Yeah, not, I, don't think, I don't think much of it did happen, but he had a plan in place and prepared really well. And 
uh, yeah, I thought he approached the week really well and I'm pretty sure he'll be glad to get that first game over and done with. Place look out, place look out for him as well. I heard there was a big cheer in the rooms afterwards for him when he came back in. Yeah, yeah, like I said before, they, they love playing with him. He's a, he's a good teammate. He gets to work, works really hard on his game and he's a competitive animal when he gets out in the field. So it's all the uh, attributes of a good teammate. Trying his three goals again today after three last week. Is it, is it time for his rising star nomination? He must have been pretty close last week. Well, yeah, surely. But uh, he, had, he, he wouldn't get caught up in that. And clearly his consistency is not getting caught up in worried about you know, individual accolades. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a competitor. He just wants to win. And, yeah, he made the most of some opportunities um, and hit the scoreboard. But I just thought he competed really well to half contests against more mature backs and I thought some of his tackles to lock the ball in and get us forward 50 stoppages were outstanding so he, he's developing all areas of his game yeah, really nicely so. He's he, developing. I mean, he missed a lot of his first season with that, that kidney issue and then um, he played 10 or so. Maybe, maybe for a, a key forward but I see, his, I see his work ethic and I see how he goes about his weeks, so it doesn't really surprise me. It, it, it look, the weekend's an outcome of the work you put in in, in your preparation, and I see him a bit like a few of the, all the others, he's just working their backsides off to get better and improve, and the weekend is what you get. What was it like to have your old mentor Bucks in the coach's box, and how did that come about? Uh, yeah, well, obviously, work with Bucks at Collingwood and He's taken a real interest in, in my coaching journey uh, while I was working under him and, and since I've been senior coach and uh, it's, yeah, wanted to get him um, around match day and, and around our preparation to you know, give me a bit of feedback and um, yeah, help me on my coaching journey. He's, he's a guy with a lot of experience in footy and uh, yeah, the more of those guys you can have helping you, the better coach I'm going to be. So. No, I'll, I'll touch base with him during the week uh, on what he thought of the day and uh, what he thought of our coaching setup and communication in the box, and uh, yeah, get some feedback on how how he thought he thought the day went. But yeah, he kept pretty quiet in the box. Sorry, was that his, was that his idea, or did you sort of encourage him to? to no, no, it's that was. Yeah, there's probably a couple of, couple of things in it. Like, um, I was really keen for it to happen to help my coaching journey. And uh, he was um, keen for that side of it, but you know, he works in the media. He wants to have a, have a look at uh, how, how we go about things and get to a deeper understanding of uh, how, he's, yeah, how, how we're trying to play and, uh, and how some of our players operate. So, uh, yeah, it was... It came about mutually. It's been in the pipelines for a while, and yeah, this date, um, yeah, just fitted in really well. We had him like given a bit of a pre-game address on the players. Is that accurate? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that's not accurate. <laughs> Did you get through on skate other than Darcy? Yep, yep. Do you be happy with where you're at heading into the bye? Three, three guys on the injury list, including Bob, <coughs> who's probably a chance to come back for the. Game after the bike. Yeah, our, our medical team have our medical team have done a great job um, with our with our program, fitness program, and yeah, our players are healthy and they're fit. So that's all you can ask for as a coach. Thanks, Good on you. Thanks.